I've just been um, shopping in Penarth and what I saw really upset me um, and I really wanted to share it. It's upset me a lot. I went to queue to get into Lloyds Bank here in Penarth in the Vale of Glamorgan in South Wales and um, there was a long queue and a woman had uh, tried to call on the phone to cancel something and uh, save money because she was a pensioner. They told her to come into branch and then she was told that she couldn't go into the branch because uh, they weren't able to have a meeting, a face-to-face -face meeting which had to be two metres social distanced. It wasn't a particular thing that they could help with. The, the member of staff from Lloyd's was, was less than a metre away outside while telling her this. You know, and I said to him, this is crazy and it's certainly not his fault. So she was frustrated, losing money. But what he told me afterwards is that that was nothing. You know, what happened to that lady there? They're dealing with people who can't pay their bills, who have um, uh, fallen behind on business loans, they are struggling to literally make ends meet at the moment and they can't get into branch to sort things out and it's getting more and more difficult for him to handle this. He's just a, a member of staff at the bank having to deal with these situations where people are, are going in to try and sort it out and even then they can't get an appointment. Then an elderly gentleman turned up who was really struggling and it's the it's those people, you know, I think of my dad or anyone who's vulnerable, anyone with Alzheimer's or anyone that's a little bit confused. Um, he was told to go to the back of the queue, which I could see was a real struggle for him to even walk. So, so he tried to walk into the branch, but then was made to go to the back of this long queue and wait. And the whole thing was just heartbreaking and I'm seeing this suffering and it's not being reflected in the media and there isn't enough balance and everyone's walking around with masks. We're all a little bit confused. Of course, they're going on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and they're really a bit confused why there's not more balance on the media feeds and that's why on my YouTube channel I ended up speaking to Professor Robert Endress from Imperial College London, um, Associate Professor Keith Baverstock, GP Rick O'Shea and they all said there's not enough balance in the media and there isn't. You know why aren't we having a debate about whether herd immunity could work, you know whether it's even a possibility because I think the strain that public are under at the moment if this goes into winter you know, queuing outside, being confused, having that anxiety. Every time I go shopping and barked at, um, it's not these people's fault. You know, they, they're just following the direction of their company and the rules and regulations um, about social distancing, about putting, you know, going to the charity shop. You weren't allowed in, sh being shouted at if you didn't put hand sanitizer on. And then I went to Boots and um, I brought a lipstick to try and match it. And the woman shouted, we have no testers. And, you know, for anyone with anxiety, this is just, I just think this is overwhelming. Anyone who's vulnerable in any way, who's got memory issues or special needs, this could tip people over the edge. And today, you know, I really did want to share with you that experience of the queue for Lloyds Bank. And that, that, that guy that works at Lloyds Bank, I really felt sorry for him. He's got training in dealing with these issues. People, people are at breaking point and it's the summer, but I just don't think this can go on into the winter, which is why I'd like a debate and a balance on um, whether building up herd immunity during the summer will protect us more in the winter if the vaccine doesn't come along. And my concern is even if the vaccine did come along, people wouldn't take it. A lot of people have said to me they wouldn't and there's statistics out on that about whether people would take the vaccine or not. So um, yeah, just a little reflection on my shopping trip today.